All right, everybody forgive the background noise, music, whatever. Let's get right into it. All right, LDW MMAC, man. Listen, let me go ahead and tell y'all something right now. I'm really high on this kid. I like this kid. I like everything about this kid. Okay, she's 23 years old. And shoot, man, I think <laughs> I think Casey O'Neill, I think I got to make the big four. I got to make the big four. I got to make the big four. I mean, yeah, you know, everybody loved the big three. It's the big four now. Okay. And don't tell, and see people like TJ was running around to my, oh, coach, you trying to jump on the bandwagon now? I was already on the bandwagon before she even fought Antonina. Like, this is crazy. I even got videos where I was on the bandwagon, but I like this kid. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I like this kid. Do she have a lot of holes in her game? Yeah. Okay. Is she working hard to fix them? Yeah. But I'm going to tell you why I like her. Because she knows what she want to do. And she don't have zero emotion. That's why I like her. She got zero emotion. She don't give two Fs. That's why I like her. Casey O'Neill don't give two Fs. I mean, look, man, this girl, she was in an interview, man. Homegirl farted. Like, look. <laughs> Casey O'Neill is about that life. I'm talking about, you know, she having an interview. Oh, girl, just let the fart go. Good. Okay. I like some. That, that means she real as hell. And I like that. But also, I like the style. I like her style. I like how she going there and she bring the fight to the person. And she said something that just really like had me excited as a fan. She said something. She said, hey, I want to make myself as tired as possible. And I'm like, OK, well, damn, why why she want to do that? That don't make sense. She said, because if I know if I'm tired, they tired. And I know if I'm as tired as I can be, she said, they're even tired. They're even more tired than I am. I got it. I got it. I like this kid. OK, the way that she really the pressure, but the pressure is good. It's more of a it's not like a mindless type of pressure. There's a rhyme and a reason to what she do. And also, too, she understands where she is. See, her fighting Antonina, nobody really gave Antonina like, hey, she Antonina's going to 100 percent win the fight. Even on live stream, we were all kind of just kind of everybody was undecided. I was undecided. I was like, I think it's a 50-50 fight. You know, I said that on live. Um, she also understands, too, that she wants to be a contender within a year. Folks, I couldn't agree with that more. I think probably in six months, okay? And y'all know how I am about fighters. You know, they need to just take their time and do it right. Casey O'Neill, she's at a crossroads right now. If they push her too fast, it could definitely be detrimental. If they push her too slow, it'll take her too long to get a title shot, and then somebody else not on her level or somebody else could actually beat her before she gets a chance to fight for the belt. She's in a crossroad. My thing is, I think Casey O'Neill got about six months, and I think she'll be ready for a title shot. I think Casey O'Neill got about five to six months, and I think she's ready. Because the girl fights all the time. So she's not even sitting here, you know, twiddling her thumb. The girl want to fight. And Casey O'Neill wants that smoke with everybody. But Casey O'Neill says something that kind of had me thinking a little bit. Like, don't push this girl too fast to a title shot. Because she said, well, Antonina, she's not her sister. She's not her sister. Antonina got holes in her game. She said it. And so that kind of kind of had me believing that, okay, she not her sister. So she acknowledges that Valentina is very, very good and that she really needs to do a little bit more to be ready for that challenge. I, I, I respect that. But I think in five months, I think Casey O'Neill, <laughs> I think she's going to be ready for a title shot, man. I think she's going to be ready. Now, do I think she defeats Valentina? No. Nah. I mean, I don't, I don't think she beat Valentina. I don't think she can. Valentina is just good. And, you know, what Casey O'Neill presents isn't something that's going to really confuse the hell out of Valentina. Um, her wrestling is very, very strong. Her jujitsu is very good. Uh, Casey O'Neill I'm talking about. But Valentina just, I don't know, man. She just, 
it's almost like when these girls, they try stuff, it's like Valentina know how to defend all of this stuff. You know, she know how to like give a good defense. I think Casey O'Neill will give a good fight. But I don't think, like, if she had to go in there right now, I just, I can't, I see Valentina making it ugly. But I think in about six months, the way that Casey O'Neill's progressing, definitely ready for a title shot. Do I think she win? No. But I like this kid because she's somebody else young, man. And y'all know how I feel, man. We got to get some of these old mofos up out of here, man. We do. We just, we got to get them out of here, man. They, they taking up roster space. They, you know, they scared, don't want to fight. They don't want to fight the top talent. And then you got to shame them in order to get these uh, girls to fight the top talent. You know, what the hell? What, what is this? I mean, we got a version of boxing going on in MMA right now. You know, it, it's laughable. But these young hungry lines like the Miranda Mavericks, now Casey O'Neill, now uh, Taylor Santos, now Men and Faria. Man, look, they hungry as hell. I'm talking about they got a certain level of hunger that I'm not seeing out of these older fighters. I'm not seeing that hunger. Like, it's that th these older fighters, they're so damn comfortable. They so damn comfortable right now. They comfortable to the point to where you sit back and you wonder, like, do you want to be the best? Do you care about legacy? Do you want to, you know, do you want to get these, these, these high dollar fights? You know, and fighting Valentina, that's going to be your biggest payday. That's going to be huge. But you got some of these girls, they don't want to take the challenge. Yeah, you got Miranda Maverick running around here talking about, <laughs> I'll fight Valentina. You got Talia Santos like, yeah, I want to fight for the belt. Okay, you got Men and Fairy out saying, <laughs> Get it straight, you know. I want to fight for the belt. And now you got Casey O'Neill was like, how I fight anybody? Like, this is the kind of attitude we fucking need. Excuse my life. This is what we need, y'all. Casey O'Neill, we Casey O'Neill was needed. She was needed. This is the kind of attitude that we need in WMA. We, we got to have this. We gotta have somebody like Casey O'Neill. Casey O'Neill gonna play the villain. She is gonna play the villain. Casey O'Neill don't care. She don't care about respecting these people. She don't care about their emotions. Casey O'Neill don't care, and I love it. I love it. We got to get these old mofos up out of here, y'all. Y'all, they got to go. Okay, it's too many of them. And I can understand that these old mofos was looking. They 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 want all the smoke. I don't have no problems. I'm like, hey man, we got to keep them around. But it's too many fighters in in the 125 pound division. The strawweight division, now, I don't know. I can't speak on the strawweight division because the strawweight division, those girls, they seem to want to fight each other. It's just a lot of them, some of them are injured and some of them ain't fought in a long time. But you don't really hear about too many strawweights, you know, ducking phase. Now, in the bantamweight division, hell, the bantamweight division need God to help it. They need intervention over there. It's just, it's just so many people ain't fighting. The only person in the bantamweight division who really making a lot of noise and telling people what they don't want to hear is Juliana Pena. Juliana Pena like a machine gun, and she done put bullet holes all in the 135-pound division. Juliana Pena done came and shot that hole up. She done came and shot it up, okay? Casey O'Neill finna come into 125. She finna shoot it up. I like this kid. I like it because she don't get emotionally invested in nothing, man. She just dare to beat you and severely beat you, okay? That, that's just all she care about, okay? She's she the type of girl you, you, hang, around, you hang out with, with the boys, you know, she'll be the one burping real loud. You know, I get that vibe from her. I'm going to try to interview her. I, I get that vibe from her. You can just have her at a park, and the mug going to sit there and burp, drink beer, fart with the dudes. I mean, hell, she farted on the interview. I mean, <laughs> yeah, man. I like her attitude, her demeanor. I just, I like it. Only thing my question now is, do she got the heart? Like, if she get in a bad situation, will she have the heart to be able to do it? So I'm going to tell you. Young, I'm going to tell y'all my, my young fighters who I'm, re I'm very big on right now. I'm big on Miranda Maverick, okay? Um, I'm big on Macy Barber. I'm big on Miranda Maverick because Miranda Maverick is getting better. She's evolving, and her ground game is, 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 is exceptional. It's good. Uh, and Miranda Maverick going in there to win, you know, she don't even, you know, I like Miranda because she's always going for the finish. She's not trying to fight for the, uh, to the judges' scorecards. You know, you have some people that they fight and they just try to point fight and get to the end. Or some people who wrestle, they want to just lay on you and get a decision. See, Miranda don't do that. Miranda get in there and she want to finish you. I like that. I like Macy Barber because I think Macy Barber probably got more heart than any of the young fighters that I talk about. I think Macy Barber got the best heart. I think, you know, finishing Macy Barber, you can't, it's, it's almost impossible. I think Macy Barber 
is willing to die. <laughs> she willing to die in the octagon before she lets you say she got finished. That's that's my thing. Macy Barber go out on her shield and I like it. And Macy don't give two Fs. I like I like Casey O'Neill because of the reason that I stated. I like Taylor Santos because Taylor Santos is just she she nasty, she vicious. And Taylor Santos said, man, what I remember man <laughs> in a in a pre interview, man, he was crazy. <coughs> <coughs> Fanboys. Taylor Santos got up in there and she they asked her a question and she said, Yeah, my goal is just to hurt him. I just want to hurt my opponent. And I'm like, damn, she said it. Taylor Santos said it so cold that you know what? <clears throat> Taylor Santos is good. I think to me right now, I think Taylor Santos is the second best flyweight. I think she is. I think she's better than Jessica and Andrade. I think she can beat Jennifer Maya. Okay, I think Taylor Santos, I think she it. Okay, and after she whooped up on Roxanne's ass, it's just it's no reason to think that Taylor Santos ain't ready. Okay, I like Men and Fairy Yacht. Men and Fairy Yacht in her 30s, but she's still, what, she's 31. But I like Men and Fairy Yacht because she reminds me of Valentina a lot. But Men and Fairy Yacht, man, she a hell of a damn striker. And some of the combination that men and fairy got throw, man, they, they beautiful, bro. And it's like everything with her just flows. She's so technical. She's so smooth. I like men and fairy got. Um, those are my those are my really really like the young fighters who, I just know that they're about it. And they not doing a whole lot of BS on the side. Like they actually in there grinding. Macy Barber say a lot of stupid stuff, but damn, Macy Barber in there working trying to get better. I respect that. Okay, you don't see Taylor Santos. She just be with her family, you know. She be with her family and she working. All of them, man, they ain't scared to fight a single soul. They ain't scared. But these old mofos, we, we got to get them out of here, guys. We got to start getting them out. Like, like, I hope that they get rid of some of these people, man. Because it's just too many. It's too many old mofos in the UFC now that they're just there. They're just there. They hanging on to their, their roster spot. They're just there. But Casey O'Neill, yeah, this is a much needed. We needed this. And I'm rooting for Casey O'Neill.